Hello, welcome to this short video where we're going to take you through the assembly of the Perfect Fit Vision System. Components required for the Perfect Fit Vision are Perfect Fit Roller Blind Headrail, two Perfect Fit Roller Blind Side Rails, a standard Perfect Fit Bottom Rail, Perfect Fit Roller Blind Tube, Vision in a Bottom Bar, a Perfect Fit Roller Blind Chain Control Set, Perfect fit roller blind corner brackets, perfect fit roller blind corner bracket covers, and vision bottom bar end caps, and a chain control cord tidy. For cutting of your vision fabric, use the charts provided to calculate the number of panels you require for the drop. For this instance, we need 14 panels. A panel is both a solid and a mesh together. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Once you have enough panels for the drop, fold the fabric in half. So that the fold falls on a mesh section of fabric. Working from the bottom of the fabric, align the bottom panel. and staple at the ends. Turn the fabric to work up the sides. Align all the panels and we'll staple together. Align the bottom of the fabric up with the straight edge or a mark datum on the straight edge. Clamp the fabric and trim one side. Trim the first side square with the bottom edge. Turn 180 degrees, set the second side, ensuring your panels remain level, clamp and cut the second side. With the fabric still folded on the mesh panel and the panel still aligned, we're going to measure the glass size drop from the bottom and mark onto the fabric to the glass size drop. Using the first mark, we can use a depth gauge to transfer this mark across the fabric. We can turn the fabric the marks on the front is where we are going to locate a 6mm locking tape. So the locking tape will stick to the front of the fabric 
on the opposite side of the line to yourself. Trim the locking tape to the size of the fabric. And remove any excess. And staple through the locking tape into the fabric every 300 millimetres. We're going to attach the roller blind tube, ensuring the fabric is square against a straight edge. And the roller blind tube is going into a solid piece of fabric. Clamp the fabric down using the creasing tool first. The use of silicon on the tool makes it easier to pass through the fabric. We'll crease a line into the fabric, followed up by a seven millimeter forming tool. And a seven millimeter piece of locking tape. Hooks onto the back of the forming tool and pulls through. With a sharp knife, remove off any excess. And trim the ends of the locking tape. An alternative method for attaching the fabric is to use a self-adhesive locking tape along the top edge of the fabric. Just trim the ends. Fold the fabric once and slide onto the tube. For your perfect fit roller blind and vision products, the maximum width will be 1.4 meters. The maximum drop is governed by the fabrics, which you can find in the component catalog. We're going to start with the bottom of the frame, assembling the corner joints. and locating and locking up with the perfect fit screws. To lock the corner bracket in position. Clip on the perfect fit corner cover and fix with a perfect fit screw. This section could be now moved to one side for the blind assembly. Once the vision blind has been made, we're going to attach the six millimeter locking tape to the roller blind top channel. Slide the six millimeter locking tape into the slot in the perfect fit roller blind channel section. Take the roller blind chain control, put the chain on the chain side control. Slide the side control into the perfect fit tube. And slide the perfect fit corner bracket into the channel section. Separate the two sections of the idle end Push the inner portion into the end of the tube, the 
outer portion into both the channel section and the inner tube. Take the bottom section of the perfect fit frame and slide the top corners the end cap over the idle end pass the chain through the control end cover and put on the control end cover Take the chain tidy, pass the chain around the train, chain tidy. Mark the position of the holes. With a 1.5 millimeter drill bit, we're going to drill the holes. With the screws provided, screw the chain tidy to the frame. Slide on the chain tidy cover onto the chain tidy. And secure with the cap head screws provided. And cover with a cover cap. Take the bottom bar and put in the bottom bar end caps. Slide the bottom bar into the fabric and locate in the grooves on the side channels. If you wish to hide the antenna behind the frame on installation, simply cut off the corner of the corner bracket, take the antenna down the side and tuck it out of the way. We can now test the vision blind.